What's up guys and welcome back to Empire Total War where uh, these videos have been getting a bit too long the last few weeks I've noticed uh, I've, I had a look at my analytics and we were sitting at about I think 16 minutes average watch time so I think I'm going to make a, a, a conscious effort here to try and cut things down. So basically what happened last week was we took over Hyderabad, we uh, defended Cuttack and we took Tunisia and that was pretty much it. That was pretty much everything that happened last week so uh, we're up to date and we're going to head on I'm not really sure where to head on, to be honest. I think we're still going to try and head on in America. We've, we've been kind of slowed down by the uh, the Quebecs, Quebecios, who sent like sent an army down here into New Orleans and uh, just really slowed our progress down because we had to deal with them first. And now that we've dealt with them, we can head up and start actually looking at trying to take on the Quebec territories. Um, but we have no money. And uh, unfortunately, last week, we were taken over uh, Waterford was besieged or like I don't even know the word but they just went in and took it like they just like completely the Barbary Straits decided um, we're just gonna go in there and just kind of loiter so they're they're sitting inside but fortunately all of our like shipbuilding exploits that we've been doing over the last few turns have finished so we're going to build up the biggest navy the world has ever seen well possibly and uh Go and take on these guys because they've been pretty annoying so far because our trade currently is not very good given that all of our trade pretty much goes through Waterford so we really need to do something about these guys and uh, it's a pretty hefty uh, hefty fleet we've got ourselves here so we'll move in here we'll get these guys to come across and uh, and we shall attack these guys but well, actually we need to push them out so we'll get our army we'll just send these guys because nothing better to do and we shall absolutely annihilate them. We had 16 ships, they had 6. We killed, we destroyed 5 of them and we captured 1. So we shall put him in our fleet. I don't really know what his capabilities are. But we've got him, so uh, he's in our uh, he's in our fleet now. So uh, yeah, pretty successful for us. Repair? Yeah, okay. Right, so that'll be repaired by the end of next turn. Or by the end of this turn. And uh yeah, we should have our trade back next turn. I don't think our, I don't think we'll get much money this turn, but I think the following turn we should have our trade back to a place where it should be. Um, right, hang on. Right, we'll increase taxes and in, like basically the nobil no nobility seem to not care if taxes go up, which is quite ironic because it's them who usually try to get out of it. Just cancel some of our replenishment that we've been doing here. Yeah, that should give us that should allow us now to at least end turn and not go into bankruptcy. So we'll end turn and then we'll uh, hopefully next turn have our money back again because our trade route will be back up and running. Right. I might fight this myself. Yeah, I'm going to fight this myself. I don't really want to lose Joya. Not that it's like a big loss, I just like I want to keep the army in place. I don't really want to lose the army. So I think we'll try and fight this ourselves and see, see if we can hold on to it. Right, so what have we got? They've got the high ground again, although we do have a city with another massive building in the middle of it, so we shall be utilising that to its fullest potential. Right, so we also, we have cannons ourselves, so I'm thinking if we set up somewhere like here, we'll just try and keep them away from these sort of buildings as much as we can, because, uh, well, we learnt our lesson last week that these things are a bloody death trap for anybody on a horse by the looks of things, so we'll, uh, set up our cannons here perfectly well they could come from that direction which would be a bit of an issue but I think providing they come from there then uh, these cannons should be a pretty decent pretty decent position for them so we'll uh, put them there right so they are all coming from this direction and our, uh, our cannons are already trying to bombard their camels and we're doing a pretty decent job of it we've taken out a good like five of them already Although I'm not really sure how, because our cannonballs landed over here and these heart these camels just decided to collapse on themselves, so Yeah, I'll take it. Um But yeah, they don't have anything in the way of like heavy artillery, so we've got a pretty pretty good position set up here. The camels are coming towards us. Right, we're gonna switch to a uh, canister shot. And when the camels get right towards us, we're going to absolutely annihilate them. They're also confident. I'm not really sure that's. Uh, if, I'm not sure their confidence is uh, warranted, to be quite honest, as they're already getting shot by our, our Serbians on this rooftop, and they're uh, directly in line of sight from our cancer shot now. So, uh, good luck. <laughs> I 
Just tore. Look at, look at, look at that absolute destruction. And now they're getting shot from these guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> look at, all of that was one canister shot. If you guys could fire now, that would be very nice. Come on. Right, well you took your sweet bloody time to deal with those guys, so uh, what is- Oh my word! One of our men as well somehow managed to go absolutely soaring. Um, Gavin Fag- alright, oh, okay, um, that's an unfortunate name. Uh, he, uh, he unfortunately has passed away in battle, I'm not sure. He was one of our cannon men, so it may well have been him. <laughs> oh, poor Gavin Fag. Oh. What an unfortunate life he had, and now, unfortunately, his kilt isn't really uh, keeping his dignity after death either. But anyway, we've got a bit of an argy-bargy going on here. There's also an argy-bargy going on over here. They're not really doing much. Oh, their camels have regrouped, and they're now standing over here, so I'm not sure what they're up to. Our cannons have gone completely, though, so no getting, getting them back anytime soon. I'm not really sure. They don't seem to know much what to do, to be honest, because... Cavalry spikes, as, as that camel just discovered. Slowly walked into some camel spikes and just collapsed there as a moment. Yeah, not having the best time trying to work out what to do there, these uh, camels. But anyway, got our lads protecting these trees like absolute champs. Ain't no horses getting near that. But um, yeah, the horses don't really know what to do. We've got a couple of units both in square formation and they're just kind of running back and forward in the middle. Not really sure what to do, so... Meanwhile, all everybody else is running away, and the horses are really the only stuff left. There's these guys here, which seem to be taking quite a bombardment and don't seem to be too bothered with it. I mean, I, we're probably killing most of our own men, to be honest here, so we'll uh, just put these guys back behind the barricades. All right, well, their horses have had enough by the looks of things. They're now going to run away. I don't know why our guys here are deciding to run away. It seems a bit... a bit early to be running away, given that there's plenty of them still around, so... Cowardice bastards! Stand and fight! Look <laughs> at these lads just standing at the gate, like, nope, you're not getting in. We shall just stand here and shoot you from a distance, and, uh... You're not coming in. Not with those trainers on, you're not. Go on, boys. Go on. Even though they're running away. Slaughter them! We'll end it. We'll just end it. Heroic victory. Not really sure it was that heroic. It was a pretty 50-50 battle. It was, uh, well, at least it was advertised as a 50-50 battle. And uh, I think us setting up our defences, we uh, didn't really have much of an issue, to be honest. They, their cavalry didn't know what to do, because of the cavalry spikes everywhere. Their, uh, their camels took a load of canister shot to the face immediately, and half of them died. They thought about running away, came back, and then just slowly meandered their way into some cavalry spikes themselves and died. That is an absolutely outrageously long name. Rajaram Bandiyopapayai. Well, I absolutely butchered that. Alright, brilliant. Now we've got a second battle. And we've got some Slav rebels. Deciding to try and take Bulgaria from us. I'm just going to all resolve it. We lost. Kind of inevitable, really. Everybody died. And now the Slavs have taken off. For goodness sake... Right, this one I am going to fight, because I don't want to lose Istanbul. Even though we're probably going to lose it, I don't want to lose it. Not to rebels as well, this is just outrageous. Right, so at least we have walls, something to defend. Some interesting looking walls at that as well. Right, let's just start this, what have they got? Alright, they're all coming from this direction. And they have some cavalry, which is going to be of little use to them, but they do have a lot of men capable of climbing the walls, so we're going to have to try and hold them off as best we can. We do have drummers on our side though, so I mean we've, we've got the initiative. We definitely have the initiative, so hopefully it pays off for us. What is this? I thought I'd like a train track around the outside of it, but it's just a really interesting stairwell. <laughs> or like stairway up to the front door. It's very ornate. It's nice, I like that. Anyway. Are the drummers drumming? No. What's the point in you? You didn't need drum. Absolute chaos going on over here. Alright, so got some cavalry versus cavalry action about to unfold here, so we'll see if we can beat them. Oh wow. 
Bloody dragoons! Not really sure who's winning out of that, but hopefully it's us. Don't run off. For God's sake, now they're running away. Just as they were about to clear off, they decide, nah, we've had enough and we're running away. It's not looking good for us, to be honest. Well, we're getting one of them to run away at the very least, which is quite useful, but... I mean, look at this. Look at this absolute... <laughs> I've seen some queues in my life, but that is taking it to the next level, really. <laughs> Queuing to try and get up the rope like that. Although, we've now got folk coming for our centre circle, so the drummers are going to have to get stuck in now as well. I mean, if we come out of this battle somehow winning it, I have absolutely no idea how that's going, like, how that's happened. But we actually look like we're holding up quite well against them. If our drummers can kill these guys, which, I mean, our drummers tend to be absolute beasts when it comes to killing people. They just seem to absolutely murder folk, and nobody seems to be able to kill them. We are, I mean... I don't think we're going to win this somehow. I think we'll just speed up the inevitable. Although these guys are running away. That's the one thing with the... The, dr the drummers seem to make people run away. So much. Like, the drummers just absolute beasts at getting folk to run away. We'll just get them to go and join in up here. Not got many men left. Although these guys are running away. These guys are running... They're all running away! Oh my god, are we going to win this? Are we actually going to win this? We've got, like, less than a hundred men left, and we somehow managed to get them all to run away. How? How has this happened? They have cavalry, but they can't really do much with cavalry. Because they don't have a gate. Absolutely outrageous. We won it. We won it. Oh my... Look at the bar! <laughs> it's like 90% in the red. And we still win the battle. That is... I don't know how or why, but they all just started to run away at the same time. And we had like a, like a few dozen men left. Like, absolutely none. They must have saw the drummers coming. That would have been it. They, they saw the drummers making their way across and they were like, Nah, had enough. It's not happening. We're leaving. We're off. And uh, we somehow managed to hold on to Istanbul for another day. So we're going to have to try and reinforce that, because I, I don't want to lose that. Um, we took all of our men to uh, to Ankara and never reinforced it. But we finally made it through our first turn. That's taking a solid 44 minutes of uh, fighting and... Well, just fighting, really. And uh, we finally made it to the end of the, end of the turn. Galloway has appeared. So we shall... Well, we have no money. Um... We're going to build something, but we have no money, so might as well not. Um, right, so we need to do something over here. I'm thinking best option is to take some men, try and get them as far back as possible, send them back to Istanbul, try and defend that. We still have a decent army here. Nothing really going to going to cause us any issues over this direction because we can't get to uh, Ankara anytime soon. So we'll try and take Sofia back, but it's probably not going to happen. I'd imagine the Austrians will probably take it pretty quickly, but. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. So we might have lost that forever until we eventually go to war with the Austrians. Um, frame rate is taking an absolute piss. And uh, yeah, that's been turn number one. <laughs> I mean, it's probably all that's going to happen this episode, to be honest. Um, I think what we might try and do whilst we're here is just head, keep keep making our way down here and try and take over Tripoli at the same time. I just want to get rid of the Barbary Straits. Even if rebels turn up and take this place back, I can, we can always deal with that. I just want to get rid of the Barbary Straits. Right, we shall send our army that's here up to Fort de Chartres. Hopefully, yeah, it was completely undefended. So we shall uh, wander in, take that. We lost far too many men for what it was, but we uh, we took out everyone that was there. And we now have Fort de Chartres back once again with a much better looking army in it, might I say. So we uh, we should be able to hold on to this far better than we managed the last time. Also, there's no Quebec armies anywhere nearby that could cause us issue. How's our army in St. Augustine looking? Actually pretty well full. We've got another turn and then we've got another horse. Um, I think I'll just keep waiting on that. I, I kind of want to get our finances back up into a position where it's we're in a good shape again financially because at the moment it's not too great. Um, right. 
RB commented last week saying that I should be, well, he actually commented like two weeks ago, saying that I should use my ships more to uh, go and take over, like go and plunder trade, trade routes and uh, try and make some money that way. So I might go and do that. See if we can just annoy some folk. If we can, if we can stop people making money as well, it always helps with us trying to, uh, yeah, trying to, to attack them. It stops them building units as fast. And we always gives us a better chance, but I think we might have to just end turn again, to be honest, because we don't really have all that much money still. I mean, we just spent it all repairing, replenishing that army in in America. This is looking a bit dodgy. These guys might be making their way towards us. Well, they probably are making their way towards us. Whether they'll be able to take us is a different story. Joya is still a bit. I don't really know. Hyderabad, I think her army is pretty strong, but I think if they send us, if they send like all of that towards us, then I'm not sure we'll be able to withstand it. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But we'll end turn again, and then by the end of this turn, we should have a decent amount of money to actually play with. Right, this is where it's going to get dodgy, whether they actually send armies towards us or not. Looks like they might not be. Oh, here they come, plundering on their way, but they've not made it to us. We can intercept that guy. Why not? Killed them all, so I got rid of them. And they're back. Fine. Well, I'm quite happy. We managed to kill pretty much double the amount they managed to kill of us, but uh, they have taken it over. However, this army is on its way to take it back. So I don't think it will last too long. We're about to lose Algeria to these guys as well. Right, fine. This is the problem. I'm trying to expand too quickly. What are you doing? We'll resolve that. We lost a fair few. They they lost even more, though. This is the problem. I'm trying to expand too quickly, and because we don't have that much money to play with in the first place, I'm having to tax places more than I would really... I'd like to not tax places and exempt them, let them recover a little bit, and uh, we can get the public order back into a place where it's, it's manageable, but... At the moment, public order is a bit of an issue in France and, like, obviously Istanbul and Ankara area because we've just taken it over. So we're going to have to try and attack them. So continue our siege. We'll merge these guys in. Um, I think we'll just continue sieging for the moment. I might send even more men from here. I might send my cannons, actually. It's going to take a turn or so, but... I think it may be a better idea if we take our cannons with us over here. So, like, next turn I'll merge up with these guys, providing these guys don't come back and attack us, which is a pretty heavy possibility, but um, that should give us the the edge over these guys, hopefully. And we should be able to take that back probably next week. Um, yeah, so we lost Algeria, but it's rebels and they're not massively difficult to take back. Um, we will go and attack these guys, win that, good stuff, absolutely murdered them, killed four, almost five for every one that we lost, so uh, yeah, that's that's the uh, the Barbary Straits dealt with, and uh, now we can, we can go back and just look at trying to secure Tunisia and Algeria, um, what I'll do is I'll send half my army, not, not, not quite half my army, but a little bit, a third of my army, I'll send them back to uh, Tunisia just to secure that. Um, we'll try and take Algeria back next week as well, but that gets rid of the Barbary Strait, so that's one less one less enemy to deal with. So uh, yeah, get rid of them, it's quite nice. And uh, once we secure this, I think, we'll, I think what we'll do is we'll slow things down next week. I think we'll just kind of... It's probably not going to be the, like too much in the way of taking stuff. I think we'll still try and take stuff in America. But I think in in Europe and um, possibly India, I think India is not too bad a position at the moment. But definitely in Europe, I think we'll just kind of slow things down, stop trying to take as much stuff, and just try and secure everything. Like get public order into position where it's it's in a good place. Like our public order in Spain's not looking too bad, but in France, I think yeah, we're still minus three in France. So we definitely need to do something just to get our public order under control, especially over here, like this place, public order is an absolute disaster. So we need to do that, and we need to also sort our public order down here. Um, 
especially here, given that there's no no men inside the city and everything's on fire. So we'll need to look at trying to repair and fix as much stuff there as possible. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably going to call it the week. To be honest, we uh, we managed to take the uh, the library in Fort de Chartres back with our full army. We'll uh, we'll repair that while we're at it, and uh, I think next week we'll start making our way up towards Fort. Pontchartrain du Detroit, and uh, hopefully try and take that, and uh, possibly look at try and take uh, Fort Salut Saint Mary, try and take those places, and just kind of take over areas of Quebec. I think if we kind of, it's the problem with this stuff up here is it takes forever to get to, um, no roads or anything like that. There's there's very few roads. Like, I think you gotta go all the way right around here if you're following a road. So. Um, yeah, getting up to these sort of places is a bit of a bit of an issue. But I think what we'll do is we'll try and take we'll take this. We'll possibly try and take that. But I think we'll make make haste towards Montreal and Quebec. Try and take those two because that's their main stuff. I think once if we can take Montreal and Quebec, the uh, the the Quebecians don't have anything worth having really. It's all small places that aren't going to produce very much in the way of dangerous units. So I think we uh, take that and we've pretty much dealt with the Quebec. Quebecians, so uh, yeah, that'll happen next week. We'll probably look at trying to take our men over towards Texas as well. Um, but as for as I said, in Europe, we'll we'll just kind of slow things down, just try and regain our money, regain everything, just fix stuff, and then the week after, we'll look at possibly pushing into uh, into trying to take the Ottoman areas again. But for now, I think we'll just kind of stop in Europe, uh, India. We, uh, we managed to hold on to, to Joya, and we've also got Hyderabad still, so we'll try and keep a hold of that. We, I'll just actually, while I'm, I'm, while I'm here and while I remember, I'll just fix everything in Hyderabad to hopefully get public order on on side, because it's, uh, it's not looking too great at the moment. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that's going to happen in India, because this stuff, I think these guys are heading our way, and I think I'll just wait until they get here. Rather than attacking them out there, I think I'll just wait on them getting across. What I'll do is I'll just send send these guys back just to completely fill up the city with units, and that should hopefully see off these guys when they arrive in the uh, the next turn. I might go and attack them myself, but I think I'd rather attack them inside the city. Um, and we'll possibly look at trying to take over Satara, but that might be a few turns away. I think we need to build up some units before we do that. Um, still don't know what Mysore looks like, unfortunately. It'd be nice to see what's going on over there. But yeah, that's uh, that's everything that's going to happen this week. So if you've uh, if you've enjoyed the video, then give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe as well. If you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all my stuff, then uh, hit that big subscribe button down below. And I'll catch you guys next week. So until then, cheerio.